Welcome back. So in the last tutorial, I showed you what the on start of layout is. And I mentioned that this on start of layout was a very important function and game development concept in general. Now I'm going to be talking about the other game development concept. And this is something that's really, really important. Okay, so I'm going to go to add event. And I'm going to add in this every tick here. And you know, if I just type in the word tick, you can see this every tick here. So what is this? Well, let's go ahead and let's just simply um, move this down here into the every tick and see what happens. Okay, so you can see here that well, the they get being put here well at a specific time interval. It's like it constantly uh, is being called. Okay, so this is a very important concept in computer science is where you call a function. Um, in this case, you're calling an event to do something. And the frequency of that event, you can see in this case, the on start of layout is one and the every tick is well, not quite um, one, uh, not one here, it's multiple times here. So what this is doing is this is accessing something called a game loop. And the game loop will change from, uh, from many different uh, engines and different times. And even within Construct 3, it will change here. So what is the game loop? The game loop is constantly calling functions uh, and it's constantly calling these events multiple times. And there's a major reason why we do that. The reason why we add in or game developments have a game loop is to constantly be checking controls. Uh, it's constantly checking collisions. It's constantly checking, well, practically everything. So in this keyboard controls, in the back end of Construct 3, the stuff that you can't see that makes Construct 3 work, there is a loop that is constantly checking for all of these controls, right? And so all of these controls here, uh, in that if it wasn't in a game loop, it wouldn't work, right? So this game loop is constantly being called and it's constantly be checking. So what this means here is that let's say I run this here and I'm actually just going to move this back out here. So I'm just going to, uh, so if I run this here, the game loop is checking and sometimes it's 60 uh, frames a second. And if you've ever seen 60 FPS or 60 frames per second, that's usually what the game loop is. It's not always though. So it's set checking 60 frames per second. And that's very, very fast, by the way, that's 60 times a second. I can't even speak that fast. No one can count that fast, but nevertheless, it's constantly checking. And right now it's saying if, is the player pushing any of those buttons on the keyboard? The answer is no. 60 times a second no, but as soon as it does, as soon as I push it, it's saying yes, and it executes that command. That's what the game loop is. And this every tick here, you can access that game loop here. In this case, you can uh, access it uh, to, to spawn the, the enemy player here. Now, oftentimes, you're using this to, to check something um, that you need to access that game loop for. The game loop is a very, very important concept, and it's something that you uh, that you really need to understand uh, later on uh, when you are making games. And generally, when I was first making games, I would put everything in the on start layout and then I would realize, well, nothing's happening. Um, why not? Well, it's because, you know, I didn't do, um, I didn't do that. Or I didn't put all my code in the every tick. And sometimes you need to check for collisions or other things and you need to access that game loop. And how do you access that game loop? Well, it's the every tick function. All right. So there you go.